Hi, you're joining me, Kushan Mitra, while we begin an amazing road trip with this new Mahindra Scorpio N. On this road trip with the print, you're going to discover some aspects of India's past, some of India's least visited archaeological monuments, which inspired India's democracy, as well as seeing some amazing new roads that are being built across the country. A peek into India's past and into India's future with the Mahindra Scorpio N. So keep watching this video for more as we answer a lot of questions about India's history as well as about this Mahindra Scorpio N. We are on the Agra Lucknow Expressway. We've just crossed the toll point. But we'll be getting off this road soon to cross the Chambal River. The Mahindra Scorpio N offers unparalleled value, performance and safety in the SUV segment. At prices starting below Rs 20 lakhs, the Z6 version of this SUV also has a 172 horsepower MHawk engine. This is more than enough power to take the rough and the smooth of Indian roads and highways. But wait, there is more. The Mahindra Scorpio N is the world's first ladder frame SUV to be rated 5 stars by the Global NCAP organization. And this includes the latest side impact test as well. All this in a three row SUV that can carry seven people in extreme comfort. And you can enjoy music and entertainment through the Adrenox system as well. Where else can you get such amazing value? And as you can see, as we approach this exit, it will show me which lane to take. As you can see right now, it's showing me I have to take the left hand side exit. Ather Fort, built in 1644, completed rather in 1644 by Maha Singh Badoria. The Badoria clan ruled over the Chambal Valley in the 16th and 17th century. Come here with the Mahindra Scorpio and it's been an interesting day. They're building lots of bridges over the Chambal right now. But we had to go back all the way to near Itawa to a town called Uri to cross over the river. And definitely a place you must come. A uh, very close friend of mine is a Badoria. I must tell him to come here. After about an hour and a half driving, we've come to another amazing historical site in the middle of nowhere. This is the Kakanmath Temple. An 11th century temple dedicated to Shiva that was built by the Kachapagatha king Kirti Raja. I haven't heard his name before or the name of the dynasty either. It's not really taught in our history books. And this temple is in the middle of nowhere. There are fields around us, there are goats and cattle. It was actually part of a huge temple complex, we are told. Uh, four subsidiary temples, very similar to the layout, I'm assuming, to Angkor Wat which also had a main shikhara and four subsidiary shikharas. But with the ruins out here, you can see that not much remains. Clearly, the shikhara over here has also fallen down. 
uh, talking to people and reading up about this place, you realize that it fell down in an earthquake long ago. The very fact that a thousand year old building still survives, <laughs> even if it is not intact, is a miraculous thing. If you have a car like the Mahindra Scorpio N to just come through the roads that have been destroyed by the monsoons, but the car just skied right through. And um, actually, I'm quite impressed with the number of people out here. It's a good thing that people are coming. It's someplace you must come. It's only about five hours drive from Delhi and on your way to Gwalior. And from here, we're going to see another amazing temple, a temple that inspired uh, our early uh, builders of an independent India. So this is the last site you're visiting today on our lovely drive through uh, the districts of Bhind and Murina in northern Madhya Pradesh. This is the Chaucet Yogini Temple or the Iktarso Mahadev Temple. This is the Mahadev Shrine at the center of this circular temple. And as you can see as I walk around the temple, you can see small areas where there were 64 Yoginis, Chaucet Yogini. And the reason this temple is open is because these yoginis were supposed to fly out every night. Now these yoginis are obviously devoted to the Lord Shiva. And this circular temple is far away from any other temple. That's why these yogini temples are supposed to have mystical powers as well. And they were supposed to be away from the main temple complex. And at the same time, this circular temple has survived several earthquakes over the years as we saw with Kakannat, which is only about 30 kilometers away from here which was destroyed by an earthquake this one has survived and therefore one of the reasons this temple is considered to have been the inspiration for india's original parliament building which is circular is because the circular structure of parliament building makes it very very safe again it's in the middle of nowhere pretty much the little village of mitauli must be about a population of 200 odd people below me and you climb up a hundred stairs and we're not at all far from Delhi about five hours drive from Delhi you can come and see a temple a temple that inspired one of the most iconic structures of Delhi and yes to come through here we've come through rural roads village roads roads built under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana state highways it's hot, it's humid, you can see me sweating. But what a place. After a good night's sleep, it was time to head back to Delhi. And boy, we were grateful we had the Mahindra Scorpio end with us. After a short pit stop at the Gwalior Fort, we took the highway from Gwalior to Agra before the maps told us to go through a small rural road to connect to the Agra bypass before going on to the Yamuna Expressway. It is on these narrow, bumpy roads where the Mahindra Scorpio N really shows off its ability to handle the rough and then on the expressways, the smooth. Few other SUVs in India can do both things so well. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to the Prince uh, YouTube channel and other social media for more such amazing automotive based content coming up in the coming months.